Okay, in the vertical axis, we have this scale number. No? We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, ito yung makikita natin sa vertical axis and the horizontal is the name of sports. No? Yung light one, light bar, yung medyo hindi matingkat na kulay ay para sa boys. Yung darker color, this one, yung darker color is for the girls. Okay. So, that is the different groups of data are being compared. So, we are comparing the number of boys and the number of girls who choose basketball and swimming. No? Now, what sport is the most favorite of the pupils? Basketball po. Yes, basketball. Basketball, no? basketball, so basketball is the most favorite of the pupils kasi 30 yon mas madami siya. How many pupils like swimming? 25 po. 25. Are you sure? We are talking about the number of pupils. How many pupils like swimming? 25. Yes. 25. We have 24, 24 boys and 24 girls. So the total is 45. Kasi we are asking about the number of pupils. Hindi naman tinatanong boys lang. Hindi naman tinatanong ay girls lang. Diba? Diba po? Okay. So the number of pupils like swimming is 45. Okay, this time is horizontal bar graph. A while ago, we discussed about vertical bar graph. No? Nakatayo kanina. This time, nakahiga naman. So, like what, what I have said, that the scale in the horizontal graph is located at the y-axis or the horizontal axis. So, kanina itong number na to, nandito siya sa vertical axis. This time, makikita na siya sa horizontal axis. So, same pa rin. Same pa rin naman yung data niya. Now, what information is placed along the horizontal axis? Sige nga. Anong information ang makikita is located in the horizontal axis? Okay. In the horizontal axis, we have the number of pupils. In the vertical axis, we have sports. So, same lang yun, ha? Now, let us answer this one. Ms. Reyes, a teacher of a certain school, recorded details of her pupils' favorite subject in a bar graph. Use the graph to answer the question. What kind of graph we have? Horizontal. Okay, correct fit. So we have horizon, double horizontal graph. Now, what is the title of the horizontal bar graph? Favorite subject. Favorite subject. What is found in the horizontal axis? Number of pupils po ay na y axis at subjects po ay nasa x axis. Good job. So, the horizontal axis is the number of pupils and the vertical axis we have the subject. What is the total number of pupils who like Filipino? Science and English. So we have here, what is the total number of pupils who like science? Eight. 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 How about math? Twelve. Twelve. English. Six. 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 Filipino? Ten. 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 Now. What is the total number of pupils who like Filipino, science, and English? Oh, 
Dan? Twenty three po. Twenty. Twenty three. Are you sure? So we have Filipino ten. Twenty four po. Yes. So we have eight and six. Twenty four. Okay. Another. Sige nga, sagutan nyo nga ito in your paper. Okay. Sagutan nyo nga ito sa inyong papel ngayon na. Nagmalaro po. Nakamute po kayo. Sino naglalaro? May pinapasagutan ako. Ma'am, para may sino nga po speak? Yes. Ma'am, yung papel ko po ano, yellow pad tuloy. Any Ayun paper. Po kahit anong papel, kahit anong notebook, basta makapagsagot kayo. Pwedeng band paper, pwedeng papel, pwedeng kahit ano, pwedeng board. Ma'am, pwede yung ilipat ko sa number one. Tapos na tayo sa so one to three. Tapos na tayo sa so one to three. Number four na tayo. This is Hindi pa po. Ano, sagutan na natin ito, anak. Ito na tayo. Comparing sales. Ma'am, pwede po mabalik sa number one. Hindi ko po alam na ito sa ito pa po. Number one nga po. Number one po, ma'am. Ma'am, 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 hindi ko po na sagutan yung number one hanggang number three po eh. Ako rin po. Nasagutan na daw natin yung one to three. Okay, so let's now answer. Okay. Tapos na po, ma'am. Okay. So, who wants to answer number four? Ako po, ma'am. Seventy po, ma'am. Okay. How many empanadas were sold by the bakery store in Makati? Seventy. Seventy po. Seventy po. Seventy po. Correct. Seventy. How about number five? Which item was most popular among the customers? Empanada. 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 How about number six? How many pandesal were sold by both the stores? Thirty-five. Five. Both the stores. We have the Makati and the Kaloocan. What is the total number? Six. Six. Huh? Number seven, which store sold the least number of copia? Thirty po. Thirty po. Alaokan po. Makati po. Makati. Makati yung dark color. Number eight, how many more pandikokos were sold than Shopao at the store in Kaloocan? 
<laughs> so, in Caloacan, Shoko, sabi, how many more pandikoko? Gaano daw kadami yung mas naibenta ni pandikoko kesa sa Shopao? So, sa pandikoko, we have 55. And Shopao, we have 50. So, how many more? Five. No? Five. Five, okay. This time... This is your assignment. I screenshot ko ito. I screenshot ko ito. Ilagay nyo in video form. Okay? And then, ilagay nyo dun sa math FB page. Okay? So, ilagay nyo yung uh, graph tapos sagutan nyo yung apat na to. Tapos ilagay nyo doon sa FB page ng mat. Naka-video kayo. Okay? Puro Ito, kayo. Puro performance tas yung pinagagawa. Ha? Puro performance tas yung pinagagawa ko sa inyo. So yung hindi nagsasabi. Ito, 